Hey, what up everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you. This is going to be a great game this weekend. San Francisco 49ers going up against the Washington Redskins as we uh, sort of take this cruise. You don't want to be looking forward to next week too much, but basically we have the huge turnaround where we have this game on Sunday. And then Thursday we have one of the games that's been circled on uh, our board all year long since last year in the NFC Championship game. Everybody's looking forward to win. San Francisco has been uh, getting forward uh, to, to getting revenge on the Seattle Seahawks. That game's on Thursday. I just wanted to put it out there that that game's going to be coming up. We're not going to be talking about it anymore because I think we just really need to focus in on Washington. I think... Everybody really needs uh, to focus in on basically what uh, the fight that was going down between RG3 and head co uh, coach uh, Gruden of the uh, Washington Redskins. I think if you looked at the press conference from RG3, I think that the words that RG3 was saying, trying to shake the media, to basically stop him asking questions, is basically the same thing that the San Francisco 49ers should be living for. When you look at the, uh, the Washington Redskins, I know they've had a lot of troubles with injuries this year. Basically, they're... Uh, a uh, starting quarterback, not only that, our franchise quarterback in uh, RG3 uh, has been down most of the year. He made his comeback last week. Kirk Cousins picked up the ball for a good little while. Uh, uh, the one guy that I think a lot of people were looking to push RG3 out of Washington and get rid of that headache. Uh, we're, we're really trying to get Kirk Cousins the ball in the offseason. Got to really find out what kind of a quarterback Kirk Cousins really is. And maybe he wasn't the future uh, for Washington. Maybe he's a good backup. Maybe he'll find a good serviceable job somewhere out there. But I think that they're glad that they stuck with uh, RG3. Um, Cousins, you know, he threw 10 touchdowns on the day. But basically, you know, the wins weren't coming. They're sitting at 3-7 and seven right now. I think they're better than what their record is. But when you look at the San Francisco 49ers and what their record is right now, I don't think anybody is really thinking at 6-4. and four, This is really where this team is going to be sitting. I know they're um, sitting uh, with a tie in the second place in the, in the Western Division. But, you know, being three games back of chasing the Arizona Cardinals, um, Arizona was a great team last year. Arizona made a few moves in the offseason, but I really don't think anybody thought that the Niners uh, would be coming up like this. So, I mean, we can't really be looking soft at anybody out there. Like I've been saying, it's probably going to take 11 wins for the San Francisco 49ers to sneak into the playoffs this year. You know, we're, we're, we've got Seattle looking up from us on, underneath. We have two games against them in the upcoming weeks. We have one game uh, against the Cardinals coming up where we can make up some ground uh, right there. Um, you know, later in the season. I believe that's who we close it up against. But we can't be looking soft at anybody out there. Even the Oakland Raiders, who just got their first win. Any of these teams that sneaks up and, and gets a win on this, any of these teams could be the team that bumps us out of the playoffs and makes it where we're not going to get there from there. Washington's a good team out there. RG3, you know he's going to be moving around in the pocket. Uh, you know, he's, he's looking to try and save this team and have a great year. Uh, they've got Deshaun Jackson out there. They've got Pierce Gerson out there. Everybody knows those are two great wide receivers uh, that anytime you make the, uh, they can catch the ball and get that in their hands. They're going to be able to make a move and next thing you know they're in the end zone. The Washington uh, has been underperforming all year and you know just like a team like uh, you know Carolina last year or you know Indianapolis last year um, a team like Arizona Cardinals this year one of those teams that you know is looking for a calendar saving season win and you know beating the 49ers you know even though they, they don't make the playoffs they'll at least be able to say they got a win against this team that a lot of people were picking to win the Super Bowl um, and, and make a big splash this year and that's what might even um, I don't I don't think anybody on this team is in in, in uh, I don't think anybody on Washington is, is at the spot where they might be losing their job. Gruden looks like he's in a good place uh, um, as the coach. I don't think he's been 100% um, living up to his own expectations or some expectations that the the press or the Washington people have been putting on him. RG3 is coming off the injury. That's probably going to be his biggest savior as, as to why he's been there. But everybody's got to think of you know RG3. Ever since that first um, um, playoff-ending injury, uh, for them, has he really been the same quarterback since? And is this guy going to be injury ridden his whole career? Uh, I know they gave up a whole lot to give uh, get him from the uh, St. Louis Rams uh, with the number one pick. And uh, was it really worth it in the long run? Is he ever going to be able to turn this around and really be where you know his career is supposed to be? Uh, San Francisco 49ers, um, We've got injuries all over. I mean, we got uh, uh, Ward. Uh, we've got Patrick Willis. Just went on the injured reserve. Not going to be returning this year. Um, Hopefully, um, you know, if everything goes right, you know, um, we're going to be getting um, a healthy Vernon Davis this week. Um, we've already said that uh, Anthony Davis isn't going to be playing this week. Um, I believe um, Chad Brock hasn't practiced all week, so it doesn't really look like he's going to be uh, going there. Um, we have um, 
the, the, the really famous Alabaman surgery guy, the doctor, I can't remember what his name is, he's going to be flying in and checking out Bowman to make sure he's going to be 100% ready to play next week. The Niners are really riding off of that big uh, step up from Chris Borland. He won his second back-to-back -back, uh, Rookie of the Week uh, for his outstanding play at linebacker. Of course, he had the 19 tackles the week before. Last week, he had a great play as well. Um, you know, so the, the talk about him has been everybody's been, you know, uh, he was high on everybody's board during the draft, but nobody picked him except for us. So we're going to have to see what it is. Um, I don't know. This this could be a tough game. This could be an easy one, but we can't sneak through anybody. Um, you know, we we got a lot of excuses out there why we haven't performed this this year. But I don't think anybody who's a San Francisco 49ers fan was looking forward to missing the um this the uh, the, the playoffs or let alone not making it to another Super Bowl season. We got a long road to hold, but basically, you know, we have been fighting this all season long. So why don't we just keep on fighting and just make sure that we can get there? Um, you know, Alden Smith getting to play in his second game. He got held out a lot of the game last week where we didn't really even get to see him that much uh, hopefully he'll get an increased uh, amount of performance and um he can really add something to where that defense is going to be anthony davis is going to be out jonathan martin from the uh, Miami Dolphins, everybody knows about him from the bullying guy that, that went down there last year, uh, brought him over because basically he uh, was a player for uh, Harbaugh in Stanford and um and we'll have to see how it holds up. I mean, that, that offensive line has been piss poor horrible all year long. Gore had a good a good uh, game last week uh, where he was able to get those runs where he was able to make it to that far outside. We really haven't really been able to pound it up the middle uh, like we've been able to. I think everybody can tell that from basically uh, the goal line play of Kaepernick trying to dive into the end zone. That That's an easy yard that basically we were, we were able to get anywhere. Uh, we've got the uh, the rookie center. Uh, who a lot of people are saying is going to have a great career, uh, but he's trying to find his own in the NFL. The center is a hard position to really step into and really get into um, and, and you know get to that next level. But um, we're going to have to see what goes on. We don't really have any more room for any more excuses. We don't have time for any more losses. Let's get through Washington, and we got a whole bunch of tough games after there. But this is, this is a special team. I feel like it. Once we get into the playoffs, it's a whole new season where basically you strip away uh, that, that NFL season's record and you just start from scratch. Everybody's 0-0 zero and zero, and you just got to go win by win until you reach that big one and you're holding that Lombardi trophy over your head. Peace out, everybody.